It's a standard that we know that he wins every fight, but I don't think that we consciously think about uh, going into a battle and, and realizing that, oh, yeah, we really don't have to worry about this because God's already won it. When you even think about praying for somebody and they don't make it, you don't think about, well, God won. Like God won in the end of that. Catherine Mullins is actually one that I think she's one of those up and coming, you'll hear more about her soon kind of gals. And she is a um, dynamic worship leader and songwriter that is out in this small little town in um, Harvest, Alabama. And I was um, asked to come out and lead worship for their women's conference. And she led a session and she sang this song called Never Lost. And when she began to sing it in its original format, I just knew there was something on the song. And I thought about it during the conference and then I asked her after, I said, would you mind if I took that song and kind of rearranged it a bit? And she was like, of course. I took the song and it was one of those just very easy, adaptable songs because I felt like it was part my song when I heard it in the first place. And I sent it back and forth to her, making sure she was okay with what we did. Uh, you know, we rearranged a little bit of, of just the progression in it, and it just became uh, such a great song. I visualize people in the middle of the fight and so worn out and so weary, and then turning to the screen and having to say, when listen to the sound, power on my lips, Jesus has broken the curse, he's never lost a, a battle, and who are you, great mountain, that you should not bow low? You know, Jesus defeated the darkness, he's never lost a battle. Those are like big things to say when you're in the midst of such brokenness. I just think those lyrics are just so intensely right on that the reality of it is, the bottom line is, he's broken the curse. He already broke the curse, it's a done deal. And I love that we're taking the authority in that lyric of actually calling to the elements and saying, you know, when listen to the sound, like I'm telling you, I believe this. When listen to you.